title is Multiple Benefits. Multiple Benefits, Vivas Carmelli. Please help me introduce Vivas Carmelli. Give it up. <laughs> speeches I hear are about, you know, let's save animals or conserve natural resources. But when I hear these, I think to myself, what about our own kind, humans? So now all of you must be wondering, what is he going to talk about? What is an ongoing issue with humans? But let me t tell it to you like this. Did you know that one out of seven people die of not receiving blood? One out of seven people in a hospital. And almost 41,000 people die of this, not in the world, but in the US. <coughs> but wait, it gets worse. It, not yearly, not monthly, but yes indeed, daily. And another fact to go with this is every two seconds, someone in the US needs blood to survive. And without it, without it they will die. If we were in a hospital right now, you would see that I'm correct. And that could be the reason why 7,000 units of platelets and 10,000 units of blood are needed daily in the US. Daily in the US. Now if you look through at all of these uh, statistics and facts, you think to yourself, now that's insane, and yet it is. You see, more than 1.68 million people are diagnosed with cancer <coughs> in 2016. Many of these patients will need blood, and mostly daily during their chemotherapy treatments. And when you, when you look at these people, you should think, wow, I need to help them. And indeed, you can do. You see, just think of all those you can help by donating your blood to them. And no, not a damn part. You see, the process of, the process of blood donation is quite simple. Approximately one pint of blood is drawn from your body, and the whole process should take about five to 10 minutes, and with no risk at all, and mark my words, with no risk at all. But, however, when people are doing this, they should be mindful, as the average red blood cell transfusion is only about three pints. You see, blood cells, blood cells cannot be manufactured. They can only be given by generous donors. Therefore, we need you to support us with blood donations. And along with helping other people uh, for blood donations, as good as that can be, or as good as that is, you can also uh, benefit yourself in major ways too. For instance, here are six ways that you can do that. Number one, the joy of saving lives. Obviously, anyone would be happy knowing that they're practically a hero, they save a life. Number two, it boosts the production of red blood cells, which is very healthy for your body. And number three, it's a free health checkup. You get to save, and a, <coughs> a health checkup is, say, usually about $20, so you get to save $20, and it benefits you too. So if you ask me, it's quite worthy. Uh, number four, it reduces the risk of cancer and heart disease. So knowing that, I would definitely want to donate my blood. <coughs> it burns calories, which is, uh, good for your health, and it could actually help lose a few pounds if done occasionally. And last but not least, it replenishes your blood, meaning that it, re it replaces your blood with more production of red blood cells, and so that's the same thing as saying that it replaces your old blood with your new blood. So, not only that, as it's benefit for your health, but if you're in need of money, you can sell one unit of your blood cell for $300, $300. And this way, if you do this occasionally, you can make money and stay healthy. But you see, as I've been talking about the benefits of blood donation toward yourself and toward others too, the results are quite upsetting. As sadly, only 5% of the US population donates blood. This would be a major downside for those people who need blood, and if you're involved in that, you too. You see, 
there are some certain groups of people that need blood in order to survive for their daily lives. 36% cancer patients, 15% bowel and stomach patients, 12% burn victims, 12% accident victims, 5% uh, pregnant women and babies, 5% hemophiliacs, and 6% kidney and lung patients. You can help save all of these people by just donating one pint of your blood. See, blood donation is not something that should be taken very lightly. As an accident can cost, I mean, as an accident for one person, or maybe two, can cost up to almost 100 pints of blood. That means almost or even past 100 people must donate their blood in order to save that one person from dying. How tragic is that? So you see, together, if we all donate our blood to the right cause, we will be able to save that person's life. And many more, perhaps. You see, many young children dream about being heroes, and that would be their chance. You can step up and be one of those 100 people and donate your blood. You can save a life and be a hero. You can make sure that everyone has a chance to survive. Because if we go back to the facts that I, if we go back to the facts that I told you about the people that need blood in order to survive, it's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven people that fall, no, people that fall into these seven categories would need, say, an approximately up to over 100,000 pints of blood. And that's how serious it can get to, knowing that we can't do anything about it. So, overall, you should remember that as much as an effect of blood donation has on you and has on others, you should donate your blood, as it really would result in multiple benefits for everybody, including you. Including you.